first time. <laughs> 2018 was a mixed year for films. As with every year, there are box office hits and box office bombs, but 2018 saw the misfire of films that would have normally connected with audiences. Overall, the year appeared to belong to blockbuster with blockbusters taking the top spots in yearly roundup of box office taking. Yet, with that being said, box office success does not necessarily equate to film that audiences will watch again and again. The most rewatchable films of 2018 were a mix of huge box office successes and a smaller, critically acclaimed films. Here is a list on 5 most rewatchable movies of 2018. Number 5. Ready Player One Based on the best-selling novel by Ernest Cline, Ready Player One follows the life of Wade Watts, who lives in a world on the blink of collapse and chaos. To escape the realities of everyday life, people find salvation in the oasis, an expensive virtual reality universe created by an eccentric genius, James Halliday. After Halliday dies, he leaves his massive fortune to the first player to find a digital easter egg in the oasis. This sparks a worldwide contest which Wade is desperate to join. However, there are some people who will cut to any length to stop the other players to reaching the egg. Ready Player One was thought to be a novel that was unfilmable. But in 2018, Steven Spielberg finally managed to bring the book to the big screen after several years in pre-production. The film needed to make around 440 million in order to break even at the box office. It made 582 million at the box office and received mostly positive reviews which particularly praised the film's visuals. One of Ready Player's one unique aspect was the sheer number of easter eggs within the film and as such Ready Player One is a film that benefits from repeat watches. Number 4. Love Simon 17 year old Simon has a great life. He is close to his family, has a sister that he actually likes and has a group of great friends. But he is hiding one secret. He's gay and no one knows. Not only that, but Simon has been messaging a mysterious guy called Blue and he is in love with him. Love Simon had a big impact on audiences. Not only was it a huge crowd pleaser, but there are not many mainstream coming of age films which feature and focus on a gay protagonist. As such, Love Simon felt progressive and inclusive. Aside from that though, Love Simon was very well written and sweet and funny. In theaters, the film had universal appeal. Audiences ranged from teenagers to old couples and everyone was able to find something that they related to in the film. Often, romantic comedies are the type of films that audiences re-watch again and again and that could be a case with this one. Number 3. Game Night Max and Annie host a weekly game night with their friends. When Max's brother Brooks visits, he arranges for game night to be taken to another level with a murder mystery game. So when Brooks is brutally kidnapped, everyone thinks that it is all part of the game. Guys, make sure you get a piece of this cheese. It's just the first one that follows us gets shot. Okay, Roger that. You drive safe. As the gamers race to complete a set of clues, they begin to understand that the game is more real than they realized. Blood! Game Night was a commercial and critically success and was one of the best comedies of 2018. The idea for the film started with just a title which screenwriter Mark Perez turned into a concept. A funny, entertaining and easy watch, Game Night was a popular film with audiences. And with so many of us having our own Game Nights, the film felt really relatable and consequently is a film that many of us will watch again with our own fellow gamers. Number 2. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Wars When teenager Miles is bitten by a radioactive spider, he finds himself developing mysterious powers similar to Spider-Man. Things get stranger. Still, when Miles meet Peter Parker and a number of other people who also have Spider-Man's power, soon they are all compelled to join forces as they confront a common enemy. The Spider-Man film that we didn't know that we needed turned out to be possibly the best Spider-Man film of all times. I am not saying that, indeed this was the headline of several articles which praised 
highly commended for its unique animation, its storytelling and its meta qualities. Managing to appeal superhero fans and animation fans alike, it has all the quantities to be watched multiple times. Number 1. Avengers Infinity War I truly didn't think they were going to be able to land this big bird successfully. 10 years building up to this, an unprecedented movie in cinema history was such a big proposition that who knew if they could come up with something that made it all worth it. Balancing all these characters we have come to love that they created in these 10 years while telling a clear and concise story. Infinity War manages to live up to an insane amount of hype. All the characters are just so fun to watch together on a screen that I hope it never ends. This movie is just jam packed with amazing action and funny one liners. And Netflix recently adding this movie in their movie database just made it so easy for everyone to pick any point to rewatch this movie. Personally, I leave the last 10% of the movie every time and you know for some obvious reasons. I feel this movie has the massive potential to be rewatched. So this was my list for you guys. Let me know which movie you have rewatched the most. Thank you for your time and if you like this work, probably you will like my other works. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.